Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you this power bank, DIY power bank that I picked up from Timu. It costs $13.32. And funnily enough, it's got the capacity written out for you, but but that makes no sense because you have to put your own batteries in there. So it could be it could be very different or it could be very similar. Uh, it's the A8 power bank. I'm not sure what brand it is, but very simple build. All you have to do is um, put eight 18650 cells in here, make sure all the polarity is correct. Basically, all the negatives one end, all the positives one end. It's going to be a 1S pack with eight cells, so 1S 8P. And it has this built-in power bank module. All right. And here we have um, a type C and a micro USB. They are only inputs and you have two outputs. And according to this, um, the output is only one amp and two amp, probably three amps in total. Input five volt, two volt max. Sorry, five volt, two amp max. So I have this collection of reclaimed cells here. I have 10 cells here that came out of a AEG battery and they're quite good they're about you know between 2 and 2.4 amp hours and they have quite a, a low internal resistance um below 50 most of them or around 50 and yeah they're of good capacity so i'm going to actually probably not use those i want to keep them for another project um what i'm going to use instead is the what was left of my scooter batteries and these are about what two years old two and a bit years old so i got it in 2023 now in 2025 yeah two and a half years old and these are about basically about two amp hours each and the internal resistance is on the high end still under 100 milliohms but I thought I would just use these instead because it's only going to be for a, a power bank. So I'm going to pick kind of the worst ones to put in to put in the power bank because a power bank is just going to be charging phones and iPads and stuff which don't need high current. So I'll just arrange them all like this. I've all te I've tested all of these very time consuming but I got there in the end so I'm going to go for the kind of the worst cells the best cells so this one's 93 milliohms 2157 so all we do is chuck it in like that and as soon as you put one in it works because it's just the 1s pack so you could actually run this with one cell if you wanted to but That'd be a bit silly because you've got all this wasted space. So I've pushed the button. Yes, it's reading 100%. So I think this is just the state of charge is based on, on the voltage of the battery. And they're all full. Um, how do we work the light? Do we press a button? Don't know where the light is. Is there another button somewhere? I have no idea how the light goes on. Do you push it twice? Oh yeah, you double push it. That's cool. Okay, the next one, I'm looking for the highest resistance. What's the highest resistance? 73. Put that in there. Oops, roll it off. Do not short this. <laughs> and the next one after that. I'm probably just going to time lapse it after this one. All right, and to close this up, there's no screws or anything, it kind of just pops back into place. Have a look at look at that closely see 
so yeah, you're gonna pry it off when you finish let's put it this way so you can see the values does it still work push the button 100 yep and we just how do we snap this into play oh hang on i did see something there's a little um window here i'm not sure how this goes on okay i think it goes on okay that's sticky underneath so i think it just goes over the top yep does it go on this side no If I can put it on now. I don't know why they, they didn't put it on for you. Well, that's easy. It's stuck on. And then we close her up. Okay, I put it all in. Um, yeah, this is not going to be fun to remove later on, so kind of just keep it in there and hope for the best. Um, it has eight cells. I'll take I'll take the weight of it. To, I'll let you know how much it weighs. Four hundred and fifty six point seven grams, almost half a kilo. Okay, uh, let's do a little test on it. I'll push the button. Yep. I can see the power and plug in my USB tester. And we get a five volt output. Let's try the other one. Yep, we get a five volt output. Um, and light. That works. And let's see if we can charge it. It's already on 100, so no, it's probably not going to work. But yeah, you've got USB-C and micro USB. There we go. Easy DIY power bank if you have spare 18650 cells. From Timu, um, using my reclaimed e-scooter batteries, the ones that survived. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the video description and I'll catch you in the next one.